Hello. Hello and welcome to Opportunities and Energy presented by Verizon. My name is Courtney Piper and I serve as Executive Director and Vice President of the Tennessee Advanced Energy Business Council, the state's champion of advanced energy as an economic development and job creation strategy. I want to take a moment to recognize and thank our board members who provide a tremendous amount of leadership to our organization and the industry. Our president, Chris Bowles with the Bradley Law Firm, Katina Starvo with Schneider Electric, Mark Gibson, the University of Tennessee, Matt Kisper with Silicon Ranch Corporation, Robert Harden with Vacher, Jeff Cannell with Renewable Agile Energy, Steve Seifried, Amoresco, Jim Demui with Bridgestone, and Wolfgang Maluke with Volkswagen. Thank you. This year, Tennessee's advanced energy economy was booming. Not only did our Advanced Energy Economic Impact Report prove this, but our state announced several new major economic victories in advanced energy related to making our state the number one state in the country for the electric vehicle supply chain. Tennessee has long been recognized for its business-friendly climate, and as we move further into this decade, our state is leveraging that fact to build industries, businesses, and technologies of the future from Mountain City to Memphis. It's an exciting time to be in Tennessee, and we are excited to shine a spotlight on that today. Nearly 394,000 Tennesseans are employed in the advanced energy sector at more than 20,000 businesses that contribute almost $46 billion to our state's GDP. And for the second straight reporting year in a row, our Advanced Energy Economic Impact Report found that advanced energy outpaced the growth of Tennessee's overall economy. That is something to celebrate. And that is something to keep moving forward at a rapid pace during a time when corporate America is demanding new technologies, products, and processes to reduce emissions, increase efficiencies, and answer customer demands for sustainability. Tennessee is well positioned to capture these trends and the, turn them into lasting economic benefit for our residents, providing high quality jobs and meaningful employment. Before we begin, I'd like to reiterate the Tennessee Advanced Energy Business Council's commitment to you, our members and stakeholders. First, inform the national energy agenda. Advanced energy is more than a $1.4 trillion global marketplace. Tennessee and TAEBC have a lot of expertise to share and 2022 should provide plenty of opportunity to get more than our fair share of this $1.4 trillion pie. Second, support TVA and our local power companies' efforts to become energy companies of the future. Last year, TVA deb debuted its flexibility option, designed to give local power companies the flexibility to own or procure a percentage of their generation. We were pleased to host the CEO of Paris Public Utilities Board for an Advanced Energy 101 session, as he talked about the tremendous benefits of this program and laid out best practices for other local power companies to take advantage of it. Third, help Tennessee become the number one location in the Southeast for high quality jobs. We support the state's goal to become the number one state in the country for the electric vehicle supply chain. As a matter of fact, we completed three statewide business roundtables and an incentive and policy webinar this year to aid in the acceleration of that goal and continued growth of Tennessee's overall advanced energy sector. And fourth, foster the growth of Tennessee advanced energy technologies and startups and we have some exciting announcements about this later in our program. The Advanced Energy, the, excuse me, the Energy Mentor Network, a partnership with Launch Tennessee, is stronger than ever. We engaged more than 20 companies last fiscal year and nearly 40 mentor, mentors participate in this program. A big thank you to Launch Tennessee for its support. Thank you again to our presenting sponsor, Verizon, and to our event sponsor, Amoresco. As a reminder, during our presentations, please use that Q&A function to ask questions. 